Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today and I just wanted to share this beautiful oracle deck with you. Um, this is actually an old one. I got this about, I would say over a year ago, but I was clearing out my decks and I found this. Of course, I had to share it here. Um, recently, I was watching a video where someone did a review of the tarot, which I plan on getting later on. Um, and it's, it's gorgeous. It's been on my list for ages. This deck is a little bit controversial, I would say, because of um, Nicoletta's art style, which, as you can see, is this doll pop surreal style which I love some people don't because when you look at the stack you're thinking oh it's pretty sweet and you're gonna receive um, honest messages but there's two sides to the stack as you can see from the box cover the girl seems so sweet but you can see what she's holding in her hand she's like pulling out something so there's two sides the light and dark self. The stack also reminds me of Alice in Wonderland and I love that movie so much. In that movie itself there's a lot of darkness and it explores the theme of light and dark as well. So this deck perfectly fits it and of course it won't be for everyone like for example during virtue decks or any other decks that are more generally used because um, this is very specific and it has more dark sinister and disturbing imagery when you look closely These are just half of the cards. I couldn't fit all of them in the video, but I will do a part two where I show um, the rest. There are 32 cards in the Oracle deck. It is pretty um, small for an Oracle deck, uh, but her tarot has the normal amount as other ones. As you can see, the colors are really so beautiful. So they have numbers on the top, and then they have these beautiful borders, which look like, to me, they look like vanilla frosting, and they fit the theme completely. This is what I mean by dark fairy Alice in Wonderland vibes. It's just so pretty. This is actually on the tarot cover, um, but a different girl and with a different animal in her hands. This symbolizes a tower perfectly. So this is what I mean by, I hope YouTube does not take it down so I don't wanna to go too much into it, but you can see what I mean by the dark energy of this deck. I absolutely love it. I have nothing wrong or bad to say about this deck. One thing I would say though is when you first um, start using the deck, to make sure you know specifically what you're using for. I would not say this is a general tarot, um, sorry, oracle deck. It's very, very specific. If you want to do shadow work, if you want to work with your inner child, specifically trauma, um, childhood issues, sexuality, abuse, this is great. It's just, it's beautiful for that. Some decks are specific and some are not. The ones that are specific, like this, are just beautiful. And I think um, that's what people get wrong and they start getting controversial about it, which is quite sad because this deck deserves so much more love, especially because the art is so beautiful. I 
I will definitely be doing a reading with these cards, although they aren't quite dark. Um, so even if you're doing a general reading, a lot of darkness comes through these cards. Um, therefore, you have to be careful when doing it for others. So I tend to use it just for myself. I hope you like this video. I will be posting a part two right after this, showing the rest of the cards. Thank you.